Hey guys, welcome back. I'm glad you could make it today because I have a couple fun things to share with you. Um, it was just my birthday like two weeks ago and we are still in birthday month. And I don't know about you, but for me, birthday month is a thing. And I kind of did go, I don't know. I don't know if I'm willing to admit I went overboard, but I definitely splurged and bought myself a, a few nice things. And um, so I just wanted to sit down with you and share it with you today. I'm in front of my greenhouse now instead of the usual green screen because I am honestly just sick and tired of that green screen not knowing what to do around like my frizzy hair. So greenhouse backdrop for now and I'm looking into other options, <laughs> less techy options, maybe just like a simple plain backdrop, um, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe you'll appreciate the view and I'm super close to everything. So I don't know, depending on how long it takes me to show you all my new stuff, I might give you some updates on some old stuff. And um, as time allows, there's a few of these that have come in and they're still literally wrapped up in sphagnum or sitting in a cup of water. If I have time, I'll pop them up and maybe even answer a few questions. So um, I think I'm gonna work from I'm just gonna grab what's closest first with no other order than that. Um, so first of all, in this little cup, these were some freebies. I purchased a couple things from the seller and she gave me three seedlings as well. Um, for many of these, I will try to find pictures of the mother plant or of the parent plants because I know that if I show you this, this isn't exactly much to like be amazed by. These are both named after like her own hybrids. Um, so one parent is Anthurium Greyjoy and the other is like a Pappy hybrid that she has nicknamed Quiltililanamum, which I think is kind of cool. Um, I'll do my best to put up parent pics for you here. So I'm excited about these. I'm not traditionally very good with seeds and seedlings just because I tend to be impatient um but update i don't know if you can see it behind me if i move this way you can see my um my inflorescence um i've pretty much been collecting berries off of it now for a couple weeks and it's time for me to learn how to be patient with seeds and seedlings because i've got about 150 seeds um, from my crystal hope that i don't want to let die so i'm trying to be like committing myself i'm gonna get better with seeds and seedlings. So we'll see how these turn out. Next up from the same seller, again, this one is a little bit underwhelming, but it's okay because a lot of the time we kind of have to start off small to grow um, a nice, big and impressive plant. This is Doc Block F2 crossed with a Papillanimum. And this was a butt cut and she has been kind of wrapped up in this paper towel sphagnum moss um, for about two days since she came in um, and it's super tiny but I'm gonna do my best here to show you it's a butt cut with two active growth points I don't really know if you're able to see much um, maybe if I hold it up like this kind of I don't know um, this is one that I, I really do need to do something with um, I don't know what your practice is when you receive plants in the mail. I used to be super like excited to open them up and I would unbox them, unpot them, put them in water for about a day and then I would repot them into my own substrate. And then life kind of got busy, especially with these that have come in and I haven't had the chance to do anything with them. But I think that that's actually a rather good thing because a lot of the time you kind of want to let things alone right after they come in. And I've always known that that's what's best for me, but I'm a very eager beaver. So I have not touched this since it came in, but roots look fine. This is like the tiniest. I will, I will confess when I purchased this, I didn't know it was going to be this small. And I might not have if I knew it was this tiny because the one other thing I ever got that was this small, it was like an Eastern dress Leary, just this size, except no leaves, no activated growth. 
and it died promptly. Hopefully, since this has some activated growth, it will do okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this in a cup of water for now. And like I said, if we have time at the end, um, I might pot a few up and do a Q and A. I wanna keep going with this seller. Um, I have two more things from her. Um, this one is cute. Pappy X Forgetty Eye. And again, I'll try to put up a picture of the mother plant if I can find it. Um, she really upsold me on this one. Um, it wasn't really one that had, I hadn't planned on buying this. I had planned on buying the other ones from her. Um, she totaled it up for me and then she offered to give me a really good deal if I added this one on. And I was like, you know what? I really want to <laughs> because I had a Pap X for Getty Eye seed one time and I killed it. And I was kind of bummed about that. I was kind of bummed about losing that. And so it's kind of nice, I guess, to have a Pap X for Getty Eye again. And this one is a lot farther along than just a seed. It is a tiny little, I don't know if this was a butt cut or a division. Um, let's take it out of the sphagnum and find out. Honestly, this looks like it could have been grown from seed. Maybe, no, it was cut. At this size, it had already been cut. I don't know if you can tell. That's insane. I have not yet reached this level of bravery with Anthurium. I know that you can clearly cut them when they're this small, but I personally am not ready for that. But she's cute, little Papex Forgetty Eye, little emergent leaf right here. Yeah, I'm happy with her. And again, I'm more excited to see what she looks like when she gets bigger. Obviously I know what she should look like when she gets bigger because I do have mother plant photos and because this was a clone. A quick word on that, um, just for clarification for anybody who needs it. As far as Anthurium go, and I believe the same should be true for any other plant, a clone is just a way of saying it's a cutting. It means that whatever you have that's been cut off is gonna be genetically identical to the mother plant. So it should, in theory, grow up to look exactly like the mother plant because it's a cutting from it. Same DNA, same genes, same characteristics. The difference with Anthurium especially is once you have pollinated something. For example, my Crystal Hope was self-pollinated. I took the pollen from the Crystal Hope, applied it to itself, the seeds that I've gotten are not gonna grow up to look exactly like that. Because in this situation, we have a mother and a father who have created offspring. So when I say clone, as in that little Pappy X for Getty Eye is a clone of the mother that I put up on the screen, I have like almost complete certainty that that's what it's gonna look like when it grows up because it was a cutting. Does that make sense? I was confused about that for a while, so I figured I might as well just kind of like talk it through with you. And next, this is again from that first seller, a green goblin. I don't know if, I don't think this is a registered name. Um, honestly, the only thing I might have against this seller is that um, her hybrids are just kind of whatever name she wants to give them. And that's fine. I mean, People can do whatever they want. If you hybridize a plant, if you make a cross and you want to give it a nickname, I think you have every right to. Um, but I do personally kind of appreciate also knowing the parents. So, okay, she calls this one Green Goblin, right? And I know it has Ace of Spades and Magnificum in it, but it's it's got a few other things in there too. I would have loved to like have that written on the tag as well. But I do have a picture of the mother plant I will throw up for you very pretty plant very pretty plant um i'm not looking at it right now but as far as i can remember had gorgeous like red veins yeah so this one's going to be pretty when it grows up so these roots are looking absolutely amazing on the green goblin baby and another look at the leaf yeah i'm happy with this very happy with this um what cup do i want to put it in <laughs> kind of got like a lot of cups going on Okay, moving along, this one's fun. I bought a seedling of a Carla X. I think it was the Re Gardens Pap. Ooh, I'm not sure. I'll put up parent pics. 
I thought this was a pretty good deal. Again, I'm not usually into seedlings, um, but this was pretty cheap. And I have seen a Pappy X Carla that I fell in love with um, on Instagram. And so to be able to have a reverse cross, a Carla X Pappy, I'm excited. But the coolest thing, even cooler than this, was during this person's live sale, he did a giveaway, like first person to comment kind of thing. And I won, and it came in on my birthday itself. I won this gorgeous Dog Block X Luxurians. And I think you were able to tell, it looks a lot like luxur Luxurians, except like velvety. And with a little bit of like a purpley sheen, I don't know if this is gonna come off. No, you can see it absolutely. And since it has come in, look at the emergent, look at it. That is really pretty. This is so pretty. I am so in love with this hybrid that I think I'm gonna sell my Luxurians, honestly, because I mentioned it in my plant tour. Everybody was crazy about Luxurians. They were hard to get. They were really cool looking. Like the Bull H texture of Luxurians is so unlike any other Anthurium, or at least that was the case like two, three years ago. But now there are Lux hybrids everywhere. And frankly, I think I like this a lot better than a regular Lux. I mean, it's got that texture, but it's also got velvet. It's also got this, I don't know, what color would you say this emergent is? It's like a reddish black emergent. It's got like a bluish purplish sheen, like in so many ways, this is way better than regular Luxurians. And so, I think I might sell mine. So very excited about this. Doc Block Expat came for free with this little seedling. It's kind of crazy. You would think that I should have paid for this one and got the seedling for free. Okay, I don't know what to grab next. Let me grab another freebie. This one I got as part of a trade. I'm gonna take her out of the water that she's in. Now the root situation, isn't the best, um, but this is a Carla X Crystal. And I think the little leaf is very cute. Little tiny baby, super heart shaped. Um, the roots did not look super hot when they came in. I had to cut a few things off. Um, this right here I can tell has a little bit of dead right here. So again, this has just been sitting in water since it came in. I need to do something with it but I've just, I've just actually been really busy. Um, so like I said, if I have time today, I will pop them up. Um, it all depends on my children and how good of a nap they want to take today. Um, okay, I'll show you one of my regrets. I wouldn't say it's a full on regret um, because it's a really pretty plant, but it was definitely an impulse purchase. This is a red crystal mag and I don't know, I have so many other things on my table that excite me way more than this. So I don't know, if I can get what I paid, I might sell it. Otherwise, I'll keep it, I'll grow it out. I'll see how, I'll see what it turns into be. But I mean, she's pretty for now. I don't mind her, I don't hate her. It's just kind of like, eh, it was one of those impulse things and I should have saved that money to buy something else. Um, and this one's cute. Again, back to the Luxurians hybrid. Um, let me, this is my first ever thing in pawn, which I've heard good things about. This is a tiny little Tazula Red Crystallinum X Luxurians. And I have seen a mature sample of a cross like this. Um, not a mature sample of the same seed batch, but I think it will be really cute. Again, I don't do that well with tiny things because like I look at this and I'm like, yeah, this is super cute, but what I'm really going for here is what I know it can turn into. 
and I tend to like lose my excitement when something is this small. <gasps> I dripped on myself and I don't know. It's something I need to get better at. Um, just being satisfied with what I have. And by the way, speaking of now that I have kind of gone a little bit off the rails for my birthday month, I need to be done. So I think I need to say it in a public way <laughs> on a YouTube video that I think I'm going to go on a spending freeze from plants for a while maybe till the end of summer maybe until Christmas maybe until the end of the year trades aside I think I'll continue to trade plants but I think I need to be done spending for a while and just focus on what I have I'm not done by the way I have more to show you I just thought I'd take a little segue and say that because I think it needs to be said okay <laughs> this one hmm my thoughts on this um, the parent plants are gorgeous. The parent plants are things that I would love to have in my collection. And the photos that were posted with this looked really cool. But the specific one I got, I don't know. This just might have to be one that just grows on me. This is Re Gardens Dressleary Hybrid. Um, it has like 99% chance probability crossed with a papillinanimum. I can't remember what he had in his tent either. I'm not even going to try to guess. I'll just put them up for you. So gorgeous parents. And this is like the first dress leery anything that I have. And I'm really excited to see what it becomes. This is just really not what I was expecting. I don't see anything on here right now that like excites me. I know that sounds bad, but like it's not particularly velvety. It's not particularly dark. It doesn't necessarily have great veins. I mean, it's a little bullet like right here you can see. But what parent did that come from? The dress maybe? The dress Leary? I don't know. I'm definitely keeping this. This is not one where I feel like I would get rid of it if I could, like this one. I'm definitely keeping this because I'm way too intrigued to see what it becomes. But for now, for now, really? This is it? I don't know. Just my honest thoughts. I also think it's kind of leggy, like the petiole length. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this yet, I guess, other than just I'm not as in love as I thought I would be. I think we're on now to my last little batch, um, my last uh, splurge purchase. <laughs> um, and I got myself a few things from Cartel Down. I don't know. Have you heard of them? This is the second time I have imported from them um, successfully. I have tried to buy something from them two other times that fell through. Um, but this is the second time I've actually gotten something from them. The first thing I got from them was my HU, which, hey, I can grab it because I'm sitting right here. It's doing well. It's happy. Here's the HU, king of spades. Look at those happy little fuzzy roots and a little new leaf on its way out of the caterpill. So he's really happy. Great experiences with them so far. Every time I've had plants come in from them, it's been great. Um, but the two kind of like disappointments I have had with them um, was, I think the first thing that happened, I purchased a, I don't know what it was. Was it like a Christmas mystery box? And that was in a shipment to the US that got held by customs and sent back. And so the company, great customer service all the time, they gave me the option of sending out a replacement or refunding me. And at that point, I was like, I chose a refund. Then the other thing that happened when I tried to purchase from them, they had posted something to their stories and usually they only have one of each thing. I commented, I said I wanted to buy it. They said, perfect. They sent me an invoice, I paid. And I don't remember if it was just a few hours later or a whole day later, but they came back to me and they were like, hey, sorry, we sold you that plant, but it had already been claimed and paid for by somebody else. So we're going to refund you. And I was like, oh, okay. So first experience with them, I got my HU. It was perfect. 
then the next two times was kind of like a, ah, like I'm trying to buy from you guys, <laughs> but it's just not working. And I had to get refunded twice. And the plants I have from them today, I am over the moon about. I'll start with the seeds. <laughs> it's funny. I bought seeds and by the time they came in, they're already seedlings. I will put up the parent plant pictures because showing you this doesn't really do much, but these are a crystallinum hybrid crossed with their beautiful HUXRC, um, King of Spades X crystallinum, red crystallinum. And so these I bought, um, they were doing like a giveaway. You had the chance to win a red vein dark Phoenix if you bought these seeds. And I was like, yeah, I like those odds. Either way, I get little plants. So I bought these seeds. I didn't win the Dark Phoenix, but that's okay. I keep telling myself I do not need a Dark Phoenix because I keep referencing um, mature reference photos of my Pappy Lulanimum A+. And honestly, side by side, looks a whole lot like Cartel's Dark Phoenix. So I know everybody loves it. I know everybody wants to have it. But I keep trying to tell myself I don't need that one because what I have is already stunning and as it gets older is going to mature into something that looks almost identical to Dark Phoenix. That was like the most pointless rabbit trail ever. I don't really know what I was talking about. Oh, the giveaway and the chance to win the Dark Phoenix. So I got the seeds. I'm not like particularly hyped about the seeds. We'll see how they do. But then I ordered, this is a Pappy X1 X self <laughs> seedling that was selected. So again, let's talk about clones versus self seedlings. I'll throw up a picture of a clone for you so that you see what the exact X1 looks like. And I love that. That is beautiful. I would love to be able to buy a cutting of that exact plant so that I can have something that looks exactly like that. But for now, it's out of my price range. So a more affordable option is to buy that plant self-pollinated. Again, just like with my Crystal Hope, it is the plant and it is self-pollinated, but there is gonna be a little bit of a genetic discrepancy between offspring of a self plant and a cutting of that exact plant. But what Cartel does, which I really like, if they have a seed batch, and you know, they're looking at these every day, and I think that they're very well versed and they're very well experienced with these plants, they can spot from a small size if they think a seedling has great genes and has a lot of the features of the clone it was a self-pollination of. So sometimes they will offer a seedling with the word selected and that just means they went through all their trays and they found the one that best represents the original parent plant. So I did splurge for this even though it is not an X1 clone if they say it's got the right genes, if they say it is, you know, one of the best looking ones out of the batch, I'll take it. And I think it's really pretty. Um, a lot of thought has gone into the next Pappy Lilanimum that I buy because I already have the A+, which I feel like is my favorite. So after I made my t-shirt, which I don't know if you've seen, I've made a t-shirt and a poster of like a bunch of different Pappy Lulanimum types. After making that, I had to like literally meticulously study 24, 26 different ecotypes. And I think that second to the A+, the X1 is my next favorite. So I decided to go ahead and buy this seedling. And like I said, I'm not trying to go crazy. I'm not trying to buy every single Pappy Lulanimum that there is under the sun. I'm gonna start slow. But I'm excited to have this um, X1 and I don't even talk about the roots, but they look incredible for being imported. Um, I'm filming this on a Tuesday and this came in yesterday. Um, they were in a box for, 
They got to the States on a Thursday. They shipped out from California on a Friday. They got held up, but they got to me on a Monday, and I opened them up yesterday. Um, so that does not include the time that they were in a box going from Indonesia to California, but it looks outstanding. It is honestly looking very incredible. There was even, I thought, a little offset coming off of this that didn't make it in transit, but that's okay. If anything, it's proof that this is a healthy specimen if it was trying to push out an offset to begin with. Okay, I have two more and I'm not sure which one I wanna show you and which one I wanna save for last because I don't really know which of the two is my favorite. They are really, really tight. And I mean like, when I say favorite, I mean might become the new favorite of my entire collection. So I guess I'm gonna show you just in order that I purchased them because I can't really decide otherwise which one to save for last. So, I bought, name it, name this, what is this hybrid? If you said Delta Force, thanks. Because I think it does look a lot like Delta Force. It is not. Um, if you have been in this world for any amount of time, you know the drill. Delta Force was the result of a cross between Clary Nervum and, oh, I've never had to say it out loud, pedatoradiatum. And out of all the seeds that were born, only one emerged with the characteristics that we now know and love as Delta Force. And only clones or cuttings of that one genetically distinct plant are called Delta Force. Ever since people have crossed Clarinervum with pedatoradiatum multiple times and achieved a million different results. Never since have they gotten something that is exactly the same as Delta Force, which is fine. I think it kind of has earned its place as like a very unique specimen. But this plant right here is a result of the same cross. This is Clarinervium x pedatoradiatum. The same parents that made Delta Force made this little guy. And I would say if the odds have ever been in my favor, it's now. Because this looks so similar, I think. Um, definitely not the same thing. And I don't want you to misunderstand me. I am not telling people that I now own a Delta Force. But I own its sister. Okay, um, I wouldn't even say cousin. I would say sister um, because this looks so much like it. I just, I can't highlight it enough. And I don't know if the Delta Force has ruffled leaves, but this one does. And I am so obsessed with ruffled edges on leaves these days. Look at how beautiful it is. And the little tail, it's got a very long tail, which I think is so cute. Honestly, I'm obsessed with this and I thought that it took shipping really badly because I thought it had like two damaged leaves. This one was damaged. This one yellowed with shipping. I'll just take it right off. And then I saw this one and I was like, dang, but you know what? This, this is the emergent and time will tell if this has been damaged by shipping, but if not, and if this is actually just the color of the emergent, that's really cute like a bright neon yellow emergent. And this one seems to have like a really long tail and like really ruffly edges. I just love this plant right now. Like this is about to be the star of my collection. I'm gonna wait for her to rehab. I'm gonna wait for her first new leaf. And then she's gonna take over my Instagram. Like honestly, that's beautiful. This is really cool. This is really cool. All right, moving on to my last one. And I don't know, as excited as I am about this Delta Foe, that's, that's like the nickname, Delta Foe. And I'm gonna say that because that's a lot easier to say than Clarinervium ex Pedata Radiatum. I got a Stingray. I got an Anthurium Stingray from Cartel Daun. And I'm over the moon. And I shouldn't have spent this much. Let's just say it. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. 
but I did. And there's no going back now. And I'm so excited to have a clone. I'll put up a picture of the mother plant. This is a clone of the plant that you see. So although it doesn't look exactly like that right now, it will. It will look exactly like that. I am obsessed. And do you see like a little spot of sport variegation right there? And there was another leaf I thought that had a little bit of it. This one, I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell, but on the lower, what is it for you? On the lower right side, or is it lower left? On the lower left side, do you see that? It's kind of like a little streak of a lighter green. I don't know, man. I don't know. Because the mother plant isn't variegated, as far as I can tell. And this is a clone, so it's supposed to be the genetically exactly the same as the mother plant. But I see two leaves on this that have some sort of something going on. So anyways, um, here's what I'll say. When it comes to these two that are like competing for my favorite spot, this one has a leaf shape that is currently insanely good. And this one has a leaf shape that will become insanely good. So I guess that's kind of why I can't decide which one is my favorite. Once they're both, you know, a few leaves in, in my care, I don't know what I'm going to do because these are awesome. And that's all the plant babies I have to show you. Um, do I have time for a Q&A? Probably. Do I want to sit here for much longer? No. So here's what I'll do. I am just going to take care of these off camera. And if y'all really want a Q&A, you let me know. Um, I will take questions on my Instagram, which I will put up for you right here. Here's my Instagram. And it's also always at the end of every video. And so if you want to follow me there, that's fine. Send me some questions. So for now, I will leave you because as always, my coffee got cold while I was sitting here talking. And I think my son is still playing around in his bed and I need to go in there and tell him that it is nap time because I need some of my time. And yeah, okay, so yeah, that's it. That's my birthday splurge, my birthday haul. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Um, and yeah, seriously, as far as the Q&A goes, if you do have questions, if there is anything you want to know, be it about me, about my plants, about care tips or questions, just drop it in there. I'll try to answer anything that I can. And um, that's it. Oh, I almost forgot. I have one more that I want to show you, but it's supposed to be here tomorrow. And I don't do this every day. I had the chance today to do this <laughs> and to sit in front of a camera for an hour and show you all my plants. Tomorrow I'm not going to have the time. So I'll put in right now some b-roll of this beautiful philodendron sp silver angel. And now that the plant is here I can give you my thoughts um, a little bit smaller than I had anticipated. Honestly, you know how sometimes pictures can be deceiving. I don't think I was scammed or anything. Um, it was just smaller than I thought it would be, but it's really pretty. Um, unfortunately, after purchase, um, it had tried to grow a new leaf and then that leaf died off in transit. So I hope it'll be okay and still be able to push out new growth from that petiole. The roots look good, everything looks good, super healthy, very satisfied with this. Here I'm just showing you that broken petiole, but I'm also trying to show you here the pink catafil. Um, I think that is one way you can identify this as SP Silver Angel, um, is just that pink catafil. But super excited to have this in my collection, and I can't wait to watch it get big and beautiful. I don't know how to end this one, because I can't stop looking at my plants. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.